Hi, Woodridge family. It's always um, a pleasure to give you an update kind of of what we're doing, uh, local missions and in our community. Um, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about a new project um, that we are doing. Coming up May is uh, National Foster, um, Foster Care Month. Uh, back in November, we did National Adoption Month. And because we do so much year round, we don't always necessarily highlight um, those in those months, but I wanted to tell you a little bit about um, a project we do and maybe something that you don't know that is actually available to learn a little bit more about what we do locally. Um, so we have a community outreach podcast and I try to do a, a podcast or a conversation with most of the organizations that we partner with just because it gives you um, a chance to hear it from the, the organizations themselves or the individuals themselves who are doing the work in that space um, and just learn a little bit about the background um, and that kind of a thing. So you can always find that where you find our regular Woodridge podcast. And if you just search for community outreach, that will pull up all of the ones that we've done in the past. For example, we've done ones with Lifeline, Family Promise, um, Operation Christmas Child with Vera, who um, is a regional coordinator for them, Upward, um, Lifeline Crisis Pregnancy Center, Mission Northeast. So those are, again, a lot of our big partners that we do a lot of work with. You can find some of those interviews um, or those podcasts there. Also, a new one, um, just again, kind of focus on foster care adoption space because we do a lot in that area um, and we have several families that are affected and do work in that space um, here at our church and then a lot in the community itself. So I have, um, we've done a six week or a six series, a podcast series focusing on um, everything that kind of that we partner with or what we do in that space. So we have a couple podcasts that will be just some of our families that foster or have adopted. Um, and then some organizations that we partner with, so Riverside Project, Jay's House um, are great ones. Um, a little bit where you can learn more from an adoption or a foster care agency, so Arrow, who's an agency that a lot of our families work with, and just what to do or how do you get certified or how can you help. Um, and then also, last but not least, is um, the space that we work in as far as a collaboration with Humboldt King Wittetaskasita um, with our foster closet and some other churches um, kind of meeting the needs of families here in our community. And so I would just challenge you, those will drop once every couple of weeks, um, starting today actually, to just to take a look if you're at all interested or you want to know more information. We tried to give you several different points from just some different sectors because there is a lot that happens in this space. Um, and so just be challenged there. And again, it doesn't have to be the foster adoptive. You can go back and look at some of the previous ones or be on the lookout in the future um, just for some of the more organizations um, that's doing work around our area and you can learn more about how you can engage and how you can help or maybe the needs. Um, and something else to kind of look forward to in that same thing come May, our foster closet, the Northeast Houston Foster Closet, um, is actually housed here at Woodridge and run by one of our members, Katina, who's a foster parent. Um, she runs it and organizes and does a great, great job. In fact, since we have opened in um, August, we have helped over 40 families and over 100 kiddos through that closet, just getting them the tangible needs, um, those families and the, and the kiddos, what they need whenever they're placed in a home um, or maybe for a season. And so our first outreach event is gonna be May 11th, and that is a summer shopping outreach event. So families can come in and look for things that they may need for the summer. So think out, outside tool, um, pool toys, outside toys, sidewalk chalk, bubbles, sunscreen, goggles, um, beach towels, all that kind of stuff. The kids will be able to come in and the families will be able to come in. We'll have some inflatables, ice cream. And it's just a great outreach opportunity for us. We'll get to invite them to Vacation Bible School and some of our other activities that we have going on. And just a way for us to tell these families and these kiddos, hey, we see you, we appreciate you, and we're here to help as a church. Um, and so be on the lookout. If you want to help, I would encourage you to go look on our Facebook page. If you just search NE Houston Foster Closet or Northeast Houston Foster Closet, again, that's actually here at the church. Um, you will always find an Amazon wish list. You will find our shopping hours, um, current items to need. But any of those summer items that I just listed, think about what your own kids might want or your grandkids might use in the summer. You can always um, drop those here at the church. And there's also that wish list that you can shop from. Um, if you're wanting to help, we'll also have a volunteer link up soon that you can volunteer to help that day. Um, and then last but not least, coming up again to look out for May will be another week for us to host with our Family Promise families. Um, and so we always are needing people to drop meals, to drop off snacks, to help with evening fellowship, or even to stay overnight. Um, and that will be the week of May 5th. So we're going to have a couple really busy weeks in May. 
um, that we were gonna get to do some fun stuff with our community and hopefully meet some needs and, and get to love on some folks. But again, Woodridge, you guys are awesome and you do so much. And if you're ever curious about um, how, where you can get involved or how you um, can help, look at woodridge.org slash missions. There's lots and lots of opportunities there. Or just come find me. I'm always in the atrium on Sunday mornings at that welcome desk, um, greeting new visitors or greeting new members or folks that we see. Um, just hop by and say, Heather, how can I help? Um, I would love to get involved. Um, but thank you again. We couldn't do it without you guys.